Now, ladies and gentlemen, we mentioned before, we have a gentleman all the way from the USA. Will you please welcome Mr. Tom Clare, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Can we also have uh, Matthew Portelli to join us as well? Thank you, Matthew. Give this young man a round of applause. He works so hard all the time. You need Here we are, you. Thomas Clare, oh, stay there. author of many, many books to do with Manchester United, Lifetime Fan. Thank you, Tom. Okay, you all right, John? Thank you. Tom. Thank you. Tom, do you need the microphone? Yeah. Wow, what an evening, eh? What, what an absolute fabulous, fabulous evening put together by such a fabulous, fabulous supporters club. The oldest supporters club in Manchester United's history. It, it's something, it, it's very emotional for me, this, at the moment, because um, I feel that once you're born into the Red family, it's with you for life. And the ethos of the club, the way it was formed from the railway yards back in 1878, the foundations that were laid, the troubles we went through in 1902, 1931, and of obviously that dark day at Munich in 1958, drew the club together as a supporters stronger, in my opinion. And the one thing that I found is, is that we become a red family, and we can argue with each other, we can fight with each other, we can dispute with each other, but the one thing that bonds us is this wonderful, wonderful football club in Manchester. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, there is not another club in this world that has the aura and the history of Manchester United Football Club. Without doubt, even though results might not be great at the moment, we're still the most talked about club in this world where soccer's confer uh, confirmed. You know, it, it's, it's a privilege to be a Red, to wake up every morning and know that you're a Manchester United fan. And as a family, we look after each other, we're there for each other, and over the last few years, I found that to be so true. And to be amongst all these people, people from 25 di different countries, shows the respect we have not only for the club, but for the Malta Manchester United Supporters Club. And long may they continue, and long may they prosper. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to the committee from this great supporters club. Thank you, Tom, absolutely wonderful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, we're traveling across the world.